Do you know what a bully offer is? Uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of when they... Mm, no, I don't. It's like, here, this is what I'm offering and that's it. I don't know what that is. No, sorry. When you're bidding on a house and your offer is like over the top, you're just trying to bully every, everybody else out. Bully. It's an unpleasant term that's usually reserved for the schoolyard. But when it comes to real estate, bully is increasingly the way deals get done. A bully offer is essentially slang for a preemptive offer, which essentially means when someone comes in and sees the house, absolutely loves it on the Wednesday before offers are being taken and says, you know what, we're willing to go a lot higher. We want to get in there before anyone else does. Jack Fraser and Manny Mahal purchased their home in the beach neighborhood through a bully offer. We saw this place and we decided that we didn't want to wait and we didn't want to compete with anyone else. We were bullied first, um, so we, uh, we, we realized just how competitive it is. So the bully offer can be beneficial to the seller for sure because they get more than their asking price, but it's beneficial to the buyer as well. We thought that was the only way that we were going to get this place. But even though bully offers have become almost routine in this heated GTA housing market, as a seller, you don't have to accept a bully offer or even entertain one. Typically you see in the wording, my sellers directed me that they didn't want to entertain any bully offers whatsoever. So I had in the bottom marks, it said, seller will not entertain any preemptive offers. So it's always up to the seller. Absolutely. It's been two years now since Zach and Manny moved into their home and they couldn't be happier. What's the take home message on bully offers? Well, I mean, don't be turned off by the term. Bringing in a bully offer does not make you a bully.